Hello, behind me the famous Trafalgar Square Christmas tree is almost ready to be spruced up for the big occasion and we too at ITV are just adding the final touches to a very special package of Christmas entertainment. I won't tell you now what's inside that package but I will be letting you know some of the secrets over the next few weeks. We've got old favourites, star names, big films and of course some delightful programmes for the youngsters. So join me for a family Christmas here on ITV. Bill, this is ancient Roman architecture. I reckon it'll look okay when they finished it. Them stones are a monument to civilization. Quite right. I never knew they had a bit that went down great like this. <laughs> Read notice. These stones were placed here in 25 BC. Get well, haven't they? <laughs> Wherever you may wonder, there's no taste like stones. Thank you very much, it feels just fine. Thank you very much, thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much for the homemade wine. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much for the babysitting. Thank you very much, thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much for the extra typing. Thank you very, very, very much. Delicious Cadbury's chocolate and all your favourite scenters make roses the sweetest way to say. Thank you very, 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 very much. Rescued by the Russians. And just in time for dinner, sir. I don't know about Russia, Captain, but after dinner, my wife and I generally enjoy a glass of port. Cockburns. Not quite. It's Coburns, actually. No, we don't pronounce the C-K. Cockburns. So that is a claw? No, that's a clock. So. Sock. Sock. Coburn's Special Reserve, a very fine bottle of port. So I come from Moscow. Yes, I think you probably do. If Cinnabar were a place, it would be exotic beyond your wildest dreams. If Cinnabar were a palace, it would be opulent beyond all reason. If Cinnabar were a fragrance, it would have to be by Estee Lauder, and it is and it might take you where you have never been before. Cinnabar, available now at Harrods and leading department stores. Shopping to boots for Christmas. Shopping to boots for Christmas. And just starting now over on Channel 4, Rod and Line with Michael Horden. Another bullseye. Did you watch it last week? The two Barnsley lads. Dear me, all those prizes took from Bully's board. Tremendous. Let's hope they do it again tonight. Let's welcome the first couple who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From Harley, Bernard and Daphne Hudson. All right. It's Bernard and Daphne, isn't it? From? Western Supermare. Western Supermare. What do you do for a lean, Bernard? Uh, machine operator. Machine operator. Cowboy factory. A cardboard factory. Well, they need machines if you're making cardboard. Yes. Don't Very good. What do you do, Daphne? Don't I'm stick it. I, I know sorry. where they are. Go on. I'm a secretary to a bank manager. To a bank manager? Yes. Do, is, it a, is, it, is it the listening bank, is it? Don't no. say the name of it. It's the other one. One of the others. It's the best one. Is it? We'll not say which it is. No. You're a bit of a trampolinist, aren't you? Oh, I play Skittles. Skittles. Well, yeah. it's near enough. <laughs> <laughs> I got the wrong couple, really, because... Uh, anyway, we'll carry on. Bernard, what do you, what, uh, what are your hobbies? 
Don't. No, Jim, I'll, I'll tell him. <laughs> is this, you've been happily married for a lot of years, have you? 22 years. 22? I'll bet you don't remember breaking three mirrors, do you? <laughs> um, and it's smashing to see it, because it's a lovely part of the world, isn't it, down there? Oh, it's beautiful. And it's a big Skittles. They do a lot oh, of yes, yes, down yes, there. Yes, yeah. right. yeah. They have the Skittle alleys, don't they? Yes. They're doing the, That's right. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what does he do when you're playing Skittles? Comes and watches. Oh, does he? Oh, yes. And drink oh. And have a few drinks. Yeah. You drink, yeah, fine. <laughs> well, it's marvellous to see you here, and I know you've had a marvellous day with us. Off you go there, Daphne. Sit down in your little seat and burn it. Off you go. We'll see you in a second. And the next couple tonight who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From Television Sound, Mike and Trisha Simpson. <laughs> nice to see you. And Trish, well, you look lovely. You look like a, look like a deck chair gone wrong, really. <laughs> It's, lo it's a lovely outfit. It's smashing that. It's uh, <coughs> great. What do you do for a living, Mike? I'm an accountant. An accountant? Yeah. And where are you from? Wedding. Wedding. Well, are you the trampoline? I am indeed. Yes, yes. I, you see, I could see there was, you a, see, there was an element of bounce there. Yes. Do you work for yourself, Mike? In the... No, I work for uh, Jamie Shed and Stan Limited. Well, we're not, you know, we work for another firm, do you? Yeah. That's fine. What do you do, Trisha? What do you do for a living, apart from bounce up and down and things? Housewife. A housewife? Have you any family? Yes, little girl. A little girl. How old is she? She's a year and uh, two weeks. About oh, a year and two weeks. so, yeah, and you've got a babysitter tonight, obviously, for her. Yes, yeah, mum. Yeah. <laughs> Do you play darts for a, for a local team? No, no, no. So you're just a, a good dart player? Yeah. Just play. That's right. One of these naturally talented people? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I bet you were a milk monitor at school as well, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, do you play golf? Yes, I do, yeah. Because I, I, I'd heard you. What do you play off? Two. Sit down over there. <laughs> Sit down over there. Dip plays off too. Nice to have you with us. Give him a nice clap there because we sent him off a bit so he didn't. Plays off too, dear, dear me. The nice warm round of applause for the third couple tonight playing on Bullseye. From Time Tees, John Gardner and John Davison. How are you, John? Lovely to have you with us. All the way from? South Shields. South Shields? Oh, aye, that's up there. Lovely Geordie accent, isn't it? That's right. It's hard up there on the clubs now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh dear, it's hard. Yeah. Got to be good. Oh, you've got to be good. I, I, I never go. <laughs> I never go now. I'm not funny enough for a moment there. And now, now you were both in the Merchant Navy, weren't you? Royal Navy. Now, Royal Navy. I'm sorry. Thank you. Stand up straight. Sorry about that. Are you married? Yes. Not. Not. Uh, in laws. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Brother oh, brothers-in-law. That's right. Brothers-in-law. Fine. And you, were you on the same ship together? No. 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 Well, that's fine. What do you do for a living, John? Electrician. An electrician. And you, John? Uh, electrician. Electrician. <laughs> You are sure you weren't on the same ship, are you? <laughs> Smashing to be with us. You're happily married, of course. Yes. You've got a family, John? No, no family. No family. Um, no family. You've no family. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't on the same ship and you were both in the world. <laughs> well, it's marvellous to have you with us. It really is. Uh, you go over there. <laughs> you sit down over there. Right. <laughs> Hey, lovely to have you all with us. Come and have a look at the bullseye dartboard. You know it by now, really. It's a dartboard with a difference. All the categories round the outside of the board, and in each category, bonus areas. Just to remind all of you, especially the dart players tonight, with all these categories that you can earn money in, the bonus, the, the bullseye bonus, is worth £200. All right, so that's well worth winning, isn't it? As last time, once a subject's been darted, it drops out of the game. OK, let's get on with it. Now, we've sorted out the order of play before we began tonight, and you can see them all sitting there in the correct order, ready to play the game. The first round, the questions are worth £30 each. So, Daphne, look at the board and choose a subject for Bernard. Books, please. Books. All right, Bernard, in you come. See if we can get a books question worth £30 for Daphne. And he's done very well. He's got your £30 bonus before we even ask you the question. And the question on books for £30, you'll get this. Who created the great literary villain Long John Silver? Robert Louis Stevenson. He's right for another 30. Well done. <laughs> Smart. All right, Trish, choose a subject for Mike. Spelling, please. Spelling. Come on, Mike. Flashing to help you. Think about your bullseye as well, of course. And it's a, sp it's a question on food. So there's no bonus, but the question on food for £30 for you is... What is the meat used in Irish stew? Bah. Lamb. Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> if 
relax, you're all right. Well done. Uh, <laughs> come on then, John. What do you think for the other John? Sport, please. Sport, that's fine. He moves well, doesn't he? Come on, John, sport. <laughs> that. He's got you a question on showbiz. Showbiz? For 30 pounds, but it's early days, don't worry about it. What musical instrument is principally played by Elton John? Piano. Piano is right for £30. Well done. <laughs> Fine. So at the end of round one, we've got Daphne and Bernard with £60, Tricia and Mike with 30 and the two Johns with £30. We move on to round two, and this time the questions are worth £50. But we do have less categories, and the questions are a little more difficult. Let's look at what we've got left. We've got places, sport, affairs, history, words, Britain, and spelling. So what do you think, Daphne? Choose a subject. Words. Please. Words. This time for Bernard. In you come, Bernard. Flashing to help you. And he's there, a £30 bonus. And here's your question for £50 on words. You could well get this. The word jaundice refers to the colour of the skin in liver diseases. What colour must it be because of the word's origin? It's yellow. It's yellow, that's right. Excellent. You've scored £140 on the night. Super. Trish, what do you think? Yeah. Choose a subject for Mike. Spelling, please. Spelling. Come on, Mike. Spelling we're looking at. So it's... Uh... There we are. It's flashing to help you. And that's right. It's got you a £50 bonus. So you've got £50 before you answer the question. And here's the question for a further £50. Take your time on it because it's not easy, a long word in front of all these people. Spell a word which means something that will not combine. And the word is immiscible. It's as it sounds. I, double M, I, double S, I, B, L, E. It's not, and I knew there was a hesitancy there at the double S. It's SC, yeah. immiscible. Never mind, you're still all right. You're still 80 pounds. John, choose a subject. Sport, please. Sport for the other John. Come on, John. You're into the sport, obviously, being electricians and in the Navy and on the same ship and... <laughs> well done, 50 pound bonus. And here it is, and it's on sport, and the question on sport for another 50 pounds, John. Who won the Rugby International between France and England in Paris earlier this year? England. Is right. Excellent. And it was a 50-50. Well done. Well done. Super. The end of that round gives us Daphne and Bernard with £140, Tricia and Mike with £80, and the two Johns with £130. We come to the third round, and this time the questions are worth £100 each. But of course, they're a little more difficult, and we've got less categories. Let's look at what we've got left. We've got places... Affairs, history and Britain. Or should we say Great Britain? Why not? We're not having a bad year, are we? What do you think? Daphne? History, please. History. Come on then, Bernard. History for young Daphne, your skittle-playing wife. Well done. Thirty pounds you've got before we answer the question. And the question on history? A little more difficult, but don't worry about it. Which judge presided over the bloody assizes in 1685. Judge Jeffrey. What a good answer. The hanging judge, 100 pounds. <laughs> no, no. That's 270 pounds you've got. Trish, what do you think? Places, please. Places. Come on, Mike. This survival time for Trish and Mike. Flashing to help you, Mike. He's there, 50 pounds you've got before we ask the question. And on places, for another 100 pounds, Trish. In which place in Somerset is Joseph of Arimathea supposed to have left the Holy Grail and a miraculous flowering thorn? I think I can tell you there's an abbey there. In which place in Somerset? Wool. It wasn't, I'm sorry. It was, you'll know it, Glastonbury, wasn't it? I knew you knew it. Never mind, you've still done well, you've leveled with the two Johns. John, choose a subject. Affairs. Affairs. You two will know about affairs, I know. <laughs> Same ship and Royal Navy and, yeah, uh, electricians. <laughs> right. 
Off you go, John. Well done. That's a £50 bonus you've got. So you're safe. You can relax. Here's your question on current affairs for another £100. From which London park did the first London marathon set out? Hyde Park? It wasn't. And I would have said Hyde Park. It was, in fact, Greenwich. Greenwich Park. Never mind. The scores at the end of the round have Daphne and Byrne with £270, Tricia and Mike with £130, and the two Johns with £180. So sadly, we've got to say cheerio to our accountant and young Trish, the trampoline young lady. Please give them a nice welcome. Come on. Up here.